All right, so again, with a little bit of the basic configurations of a switch, what I want to do is show you back on switch one, interface F01. So we're going to show interface F0 slash one. Now I want to show you a couple variations of this that you're probably already familiar with. So this is very straightforward. It shows me my MAC address of the interface. It shows me full duplex, 100 megabit per second, and then, of course, my input rates, output rates, errors, things along those lines. So very straightforward. But let's do an up arrow here and space. And I'm going to add the switch port tag. And now we get a very different output. And what we can see from this output here is that our administrative mode for the interface is dynamic auto. We dynamically negotiated this port and uh, administratively, it's dynamic auto, but the operational mode is that it's been configured as static access. So now let's look at the interface, do a show run interface F0 slash 1, and we can see here that interface F0 slash 1 has no configuration on it. Now if we were to go into that interface, config T and then interface F0 slash 1, and we made it switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN one and then we'll just end here and we'll use our up arrow to get back to that same command now you'll notice the administrative mode is static access and the operational mode is static access so what those two are telling me is that administratively it's dynamically figuring out what the operational mode should be now it is no longer dynamically figuring out what the operational mode should be it is statically defined as an access port Additionally, we can see that the administrative trunking encapsulation for this interface is .1Q, and the operational trunking encapsulation is native. Negotiation of trunking is turned off now because I made it a static access port. And the access mode VLAN is VLAN 1. That's the default.